Hey guys, I'm at 1649 Smuggler's Cove. I want to show you this really unique house because um, it's pretty cool. Go. All right, so it has a little entryway here. Here is the front door. And I'll show you the outside in a second. It is raining, so hopefully it's not going to be too weird of a video. But you've got like this, I'm going to use this angle here. So just this little entryway here. And you can either go left into this guest bathroom. There we go. Which is just a little half bath. Or you can go right into your first of many living spaces. So you've got wood flooring here, a little built-in area there. So what I'm thinking is that's supposed to be kind of like your eat-in area or your dining room and then maybe like a living room or sitting room. But the cool thing is that it's got all these nice little architectural details here. You've got the chair rail, a crown molding around the door. But then your view, so it's going to be kind of hard to tell because right now it's kind of foggy, hazy over the um, sound there, but out there is the water. So kind of fun. All right. So you've got some double doors leading outside and all of this natural light. Your first door here is the garage. So it is a two car garage. And it does have a little bit of an extra bonus space for storage. And you've got pull down stairs. There's a, two water heaters on this property. So there's one out here. And it looks like it's an O2, I believe. And then you've got the access to your HVAC system here. Looks like it's 2012. And then you also have it from the inside. And obviously your return is right there. Oops. Okay. So the back door is over there in the corner, or the front door, sorry. We've got some double doors there. And now we're gonna go into the kitchen. So lots of counter space for prepping. It is solid surface counters, kind of like a weird, it's not solid surface, it's like a, it's not formica, it's almost like a, I don't know what to describe it, like an acrylic maybe? Oh, there's some standing water there. I don't know if you can see that in the corner there. You do have two ovens. They don't match, but you've got two of them. <laughs> and this guy here. All right, and then you do have a little eat-in area over there and another door that leads to the outside. And again, you can see the water just past all those trees. And I'll do a video of the actual little community driving in because it's kind of cool. Um, you've got a little um, bar area here, and then again, it leads out onto another family or living room. But let me show you the pantry. So again, front doors that way. Here's your pantry. Lots of storage space there. And the floor does continue through. All right, so front door is behind me. We've got an option to go outside that way. And we've got a little fork in the road here. You can either come in this way, which has like a little, I don't want to call it a Florida room because it is heated and cooled, but a little extra space there. Your family room is here. Well, a second family room anyway. That's going to be your master. And then back that way is over to that door in the um, Eden area. 
And then you've got your laundry room and other bedrooms this way. So we're going to take a left and go this way. You've got tile flooring in your laundry room with some cabinets. Your first guest bedroom. So that's kind of that extra little area I was telling you about. It's not really a Florida room, but it's obviously they closed it in at one point in time. Closet, decent size, nothing special, but options because of all of the um, boards on the wall there. All right, so that living space is all behind me. I've got another bathroom. Well, this is the guest bathroom here, full size, with your shower. And then your guest bedroom number two. Again, with a window leading out onto that Florida-ish room space. Another closet, but this one has shelves right there. So the carpet does look new and I'm seeing a lot of rolled up extra carpet, like remnants. So that confirms it. Got a little pantry here, a little linen closet. And again, all those little details are kind of all throughout with the little crown moldings around the doors and everything. And then your third guest bedroom. So they're not huge size, but you could definitely get a full size bed and a dresser and a nightstand in them. This one does not have, nope. You have to put a shelf or something in here. So there is this white wall, that's your driveway there because your um, garage entrance is over here to the left. There is the this wall that kind of surrounds the property, kind of gives you a little divider between your neighbors for some privacy. Okay, so all those guest bedrooms are behind me. The front door is that way. There's your kitchen, there's your master, and then this is this extra space. It's pretty big, it might not seem that way, but you've got a nice little plant ledge there with a outlet, vaulted ceilings. That's just a, I'll show you actually. It's just a um, cabinet so that you can put your TV up here if you wanted to. And then here is this space. So it does have a step down. Those are those two bedrooms. And then you've got this funky little, I don't know what it is, but it's interesting. So it has a little ledge going all the way around it. You've got these two little lights hanging down and there is a fan. So I don't know what you could use that for. A little, put a little dry bar in there and have a little party, I don't know. <laughs> Here is your backyard. Like I said, it's raining, so I'm gonna to try to keep the phone covered so it doesn't get water on it, but you do have this nice little gazebo for some shade in the summer. The yard needs some love, I'm not gonna lie, because it looks a lot like that. And a lot of the trees are a little bit overgrown like that guy. Um, it's really easy to trim that up and make it look a little cuter, but there's that. Okay, let's go check out the master. So kind of just another bearings here. So there, that's that Eden area for the kitchen. There's the kitchen, the front doors through that hallway. All your guest bedrooms are that way. And then that's where we just came from. Okay, so carpet in the master. It's a really good size. You've got views of the side yard. You do have views of the water. Straight back through there. Like I said, it's kind of a stinky day to try to do this so you can see the water, but it is there, I promise. That little white wall is continuing through the property. 
lots of natural light in here. And that little plant shelf, you do have vaulted ceilings in here as well. Let's check out the bathroom. It has tile floor. It's got a stand-up shower here. Actually, let's go this way. There you go. A nice big shower with two heads. You've got a jacuzzi tub. With some privacy glass. Nice neutral colors. Marble countertop. That's your closet. I'll show you that in a second. Got a little pocket door that leads into the bathroom. And the tall ceilings are throughout there as well. So here is this master closet. It is double hung. And then there's that other water heater I was telling you about. This one is a 2011. It does have a drip pan underneath it. So, I mean, that's something. <laughs> now, I did notice a door that I don't know where, I can't find it. So I noticed a door on the outside here. So I'm wondering if it's just a closet or if it's an extra space. So let's go find out. And of course it's raining harder. So I'm gonna pause this and see if I can see what that is. Okay, so the little door that I saw from over there, it's a little shed, a little storage room. So they just added it on. Because there's the original roof right there. Alright, so I am outside this little side door where the um, eating kitchen was. So you do have a little walk around a little bit, um, like sidewalk here. Um, another little gazebo area with some flagstone. Like I said, you've got some cool little palms and things like that, but the grass needs a little love. Um, that white wall is still, it does go all the way around. Um, let me take you around to see if I can show you. Somewhere there is some hurricane protection. Um, So we've got a little circle drive here that connects into the driveway. And then, I guess another front door, if you want to call it that, is this one. Like, this is the main door. And that's where I just came out of. So the community is kind of like a bunch of H's, where on if you're coming back to this property, you have to follow all the streets along the right side. And when I leave, I basically have to kind of do kind of like a big U down there and then come up along the right side. Well, along the other right side. <laughs> but there's no homes on this side. So we'll have to check to see um, if that's part of the HOA here or if that's just other people's property on that side. But... So here's the home next to yours, or well, potentially yours. And then there's nothing on this other side, but I was going to walk down here to see if we could see. Um, well, what if we could see? And then I'll drive around to show you where the little community center is, and there's a pool and a basketball court, um, things like that.
All right, so this lot is for sale. And you can see where that aqua house is, where the stripes are, that's his lot. I'll go back and drive around so you can see. Okay, so hopefully the winter wipers don't get too annoying, but like I said, it's raining. Um, and just a reminder, so the HOA is 720 for the year, um, and I will show you all the little perks that it has here in a second. I don't know if I'll be able to get into the building, but maybe I can sneak a peek in the windows. The sun came out for a split second here, so. A nice view. Here's that empty lot next to the home. Building something back over there. So I'm on the east side of the community now, the eastern road, if you will. Um, like I said, they're kind of like little H's where they kind of join together and then um, you can only come down, you can only go south on the east side and north on the west side. Looks like a retention pond on this side here. So this is the little community center. You've got this pool, it looks like it goes from three and a half feet to six feet. Got a nice little concrete deck around it with some um, table and chairs. And then your little community center here. Well, open area, little Smuggler's Cove sign. And there's that, I mean there's there's lots of vacant lots throughout here too, but um, it's a tennis court with a basketball hoop, so that's kind of nice. All right, so this is kind of what I was talking about. See, there's a, even the little directional signs on the road. That's your cut through if you didn't want to go all the way down. So on the eastern side, there is another community that backs up to this one, as you can see here. homes I'm noticing are stucco so they all kind of have the same look to them if you will here's another spot where it joins If you see the street light there, the street lamp, um, those are throughout the community as well, which is pretty nice. They were on when I came down because it was a little bit darker. The clouds were a little bit heavier. See, like right there. that home is all the way at the end so it is a little bit of a hike squirreling your way back through here but it's super quiet there's a little pond here Let's see if I can if you can see it there there you go Now 
we're at the beginning of the neighborhood. So it does, like I said, it kind of use over here. And you do have um, going west on 98 where that white car is there is a turn lane so that's nice as well you don't have to try to go down and make a u-turn and come around so there you go smuggler's cove <laughs>